Abercrombie Caves are about 75 kilometres south of Bathurst in New South Wales. This walk, which is the Mount Grey Loop, takes us from the camping ground along part of the uh, loop walk to turn off to the Mount Grey, climb up until we come to the trek, go along the trek down to the old township. From there we'll walk along the road, over the bridge and across to the Grove Creek waterfalls. From here to make it a loop, you can walk back along the creek the whole way back to the camping ground. Unfortunately this track was closed when we were there so we had to retrace our steps. We walk along the loop track until we find the turn off to the Mount Grey. Then we start to climb up the hill. Soon we get to the first ridge, and here the track is delineated by uh, little uh, branches being led along each side to show you where to go. Once we get up onto the top of the ridge, we soon get to the turn off onto the old road. Here we walk along for about, uh, about a kilometre. Soon we arrive at the turn off to the old township. We follow this trek down for a few hundred uh, meters. And soon we arrive at a blazoned tree which uh, shows you the corner of a gold lease. There's a great flower put out by uh, uh, National Parks. This shows you all the sites. We're going to go clockwise around it. Each of the areas has got a number against it. So we start here with the remains of the old blacksmith shop. There used to be something there until 1989, so I guess there must be a big bush fire go through that year. Not much left there now. Close by that is the old open cut. Of hard work with uh, pick and shovel. And not far away, there's actually a 30 head stamp uh, set up. Uh, you can still see some of the uh, wood, however that's basically all gone. Further along you can see the remains of a chimney from one of the old houses. And next to that are still the remains from an old wooden hut. We can go for a bit of a walk. And before long, we arrive at the remains of about three different buildings. These thought to be sheds or machinery sheds. Not much left, is there? Not far from that, you can see the old tailings from the underground mine. This would be all been pushed out there with a wooden railway. The roof of the old mine itself has actually collapsed, but it can st the mine can still be seen quite clearly. And part of the tunnel here into it was only about a metre high. Can you imagine working in that? It'd be pretty cramped. There's also a vertical mine shaft there. It must be 30 or 40 feet deep. So they tried all sorts of ways of getting gold out of here. I don't think they ever got too much. 
From here we walk down to the little car park, out onto the road. We walk, walk along the road for about one and a half kilometres, over the bridge and then turn left to have a look at the falls. Well worth coming down to have a look at. We retraced our steps because the Grove Creek track was closed. Somewhat different walk, 